Okay, so, after that wild ride, it's now time for what appears to be a full-fledged real stage, rather than just that silly, uh, you know, gondola ride, I guess you could call it, or platform ride. <clears throat> I think we need to go up here, but looks like we got some items. Anything here? Or... Not really. I do see a higher up platform, but it looks like we get to there naturally. So let's go over there. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> higher up? Uh, oh, no. That's a dead end. Okay. There are platforms over there. I think that's where we're headed. We're going to go the long way, though. Close to get here. Well, we do have more pressing <coughs> Might there be anyone here who knows how to fix the coffee machine? <laughs> it's only giving out decaf, and with this amount of documentation I need to get through... What? Firmware? What's the coffee machine need a firmware? What's more important than catching me? Maybe our planted seed about spectral work? No way to know for now. Keep moving. That's right, this spectra thing, which we don't even know what it is, and she doesn't know either, apparently. They didn't clue her in on all the details. But I think what it is is everyone who has a piece of this technology, these cyborg technology, gets mind controlled by them. I didn't say they were saying it was earlier. Full mind control. Hey! Further down, or no? Nope, looks like that's a some death down there, right? Okay. Hey, there has not been a save in a while, right? I mean, not a save, a uh, like a hideout. We've been two different stages. There hasn't been a hideout yet. And the hideout is where you can see what objectives you completed and get bonus currency to buy more stuff. Like I said, it really seems to be like there's not a lot of uh, currency to go around in the game. The currency you buy doesn't necessarily do. Uh, doesn't really get you a lot of upgrades. You gotta wait here, okay. Aha! There we go. What the? Great. There we go. <laughs> That's obviously where we're going, but here's an optional thing. Nice. You got all these Armstrong circuits, but you don't have like, much opportunity to really do anything with Armstrong circuits. Because again, you don't have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, vendors or currency. You got this, Mac. Ready for this? Here's your ticket in. There you go. Mission report. Just go up. 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 That's it. Looks like Corsica's in her office, and it's on the top floor. Hence, up. There's gotta be a catch. <laughs> oh, there is. But it's not about your room. <laughs> okay. Are we gonna do is it 2D now? 2D platformer up or still 3D? Well, that still looks 3D. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm emotionally ready. What's the catch? You can't just strong arm Corsica to get her password like the other bosses. Says who? Corsica isn't outfitted with Vandalay tech. There's no pass key. She memorizes her passwords. We we'll need to get her to cooperate with us. What? Uh, How am I supposed to do that? Persuasiveness is indeed not one of Mr. Chai's strong suits. Hmm, Cinnamon's right. But we need her password to shut down Spectra. Uh, let's brainstorm here. All right. So we've got a vendor. And now I can definitely buy another health upgrade, which I'm going to do. Okay. Can't buy another one. Um... Yeah, I can't buy anything. Can't buy a health tank, can't buy a chip, nothing. Nothing there. Um, chips, I guess we're just gonna keep for what we've got for now, unless I feel like upgrading macaron again. No, I can't even afford those, so never mind. Special attacks, I think I'm just gonna keep what I got. And, uh, any attacks I wanna buy? We bought his gravity well. We have the one where you can do a finishing combo with him as well. Air combo finish, ground combo finish. I think I'll buy the ground combo finish with him, too. There we go. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Let's save everything else. Again, if I had way more, I'd buy way more. We have so little. 
Even after all that gameplay, we still have so little credits, you can't really buy anything. It's very odd. Almost like they're expecting you to play the game tons of times to be able to get the upgrades in the game, which is kind of silly. Alright, they want me to go up. Now, how would I do that? Is it ladder? Look at that. Oh. This poor guy. Help him up. What are you doing? Right, I got a battery so we can charge our uh, special move. Okay. Al betrays the super chest. Will you tell us your first kiss story? No, it was uh, it was in high school. It was uh, basically my first girlfriend, and uh, we were in. A, if I remember correctly, we were in an elevator together, and she leaned forward and kissed me, and that was about it. Nothing too explain. Uh, nothing too steamy hot or crazy. There you go. Very exciting. I'm 41 years old. Well, about to be 41 years old now. I was probably like. 17 <laughs> 18 maybe you know that's something I think about going up is very up and I just lost the quick way oh the chai I know wouldn't let that stop them macaron you've known me for like five hours <laughs> send any security available to capture him or at least stall him I need quiet time right now is there anything optional? And I don't see anything, right? Everything looks straightforward, so we gotta go this way. Okay. Look, still going. Okay, now it's 2D. It's a 2D platformer now. You son of a bitch. Herself to kill since we ran into her. That's pretty insecure for a head of security. <laughs> a joke from Peppermint. Rare ball. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Health upgrade. We did it. We got extra health. So now we have a lot of extra health. Take a look. Our health meter got way bigger because we bought the two. And then we just earned another one. So we got three big health upgrades to make our health meter much larger. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to 
Sniper system will lower, I guess, now. Okay. Great. Not just to all security employees, I removed access from elevators temporarily. Please make use of the stairs. It is a healthy alternative. Hey. <laughs> the soundtrack is repetitive over time. It's it's catchy enough that I don't think that it's repetitive. I enjoy it. I am liking the soundtrack. So I think this is where we need to go for the story. So what's behind the door? Optional room. Not that it's hard to get in here. Macaroon, sock em. Ready for this? Find it right. Get up. Go to time. Sometimes I time it and he's like, no, okay, whatever. Alright, whatever. What's that? Oh, there is a platform up there. How do I get that high? Like that. Alright, that is a health tank up here. We got it! An extra health tank? Now, how does that work? I honestly don't know. It shows it there, but I don't know how it works. I'm trying to concentrate. If you find that guitar totem defect, let me know. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you know. You genius, you. You shining diamond. <laughs> now I know what to do. You press down, and then you get your super uh, move, or special move charge. I don't know what that battery thing is, or how to use it. Samurai? A samurai. So, I did not have to do perfect parry. If you interrupt him, you don't have to wait for the parry. And since I had the stun move with Macaron, every time I hit him with it, I was able to do a full combo. So that's interesting. Now, because I have that stun, any enemy there who makes you kind of wait for the parry, you don't have to wait. You, as long as you're stunning them, you can hit them. That's very good. That's going to make combat easier. Macaron, let me at them. Okay. Good, good, good. Statue. I broke him with the spin Y, which I haven't hit him with yet. I think it's kind of like in Devil May Cry, we have to do the combos against the... Uh, oh, look. Oh, I thought it was a secret area. It's not. I thought it's like Devil May Cry, we have to do the combos in the rarest way possible. Oh, look. Here it is. I was like, I thought I saw something up here. I did. There we go. We got a chest. What will the chest have in it? Let's find out. A health upgrade. Alright, first of four. Nice. Good, good, good. Good, nice find. I agree. I screwed that up. 
There we go. First time I screwed up a jump. Yes, that was a good find. Uh, pure, pure, pure Kato. But I think Game Pass is a good investment. Are you kidding me? It's probably the best investment in gaming at this point. With the amount of content and the amount of uh, replayability and there's so many variety of games you can play on there. Super good. More out of sync security notes. Your specialty, Miss Peppermint. You must be so excited. Very. Mm. Okay. Peppermint, come on, come on. Peppermint, light him up. Your turn, Peppermint. Go. Nothing you new, nothing optional. No, okay. Back to 2D mode. No, we're, yeah, we're 2D mode again. Okay. Exactly. Gregory says, paying 15 a month is like nothing. Such a great value. You're probably getting 100 to $200 of value a month. Even even in a month when I'm not, I'm at least playing at least one to two games on there every month. Seriously. Plus, of course, keep in mind, it's also paying for um, the online, you know, online play for any game you're playing online as well. Hi, Jasper. What you up to, buddy? Oh, optional items sound. Oh no I didn't. Here they are. It was just this. It, was not, it wasn't much. Just a little bit of gear. Okay. That is true Felix. Game Pass does remove games. That is absolutely correct. As long as you're playing the games in a timely manner, you know, and you're not dilly-dallying with the playing of your games, you should be okay. Some people don't play them all in a timely manner, which means I can understand and be a little upset that they're not getting all the value. Oh wow, I can I land on that? I wanted to land there and then try to go left. I can't land on it. It doesn't work. Yeah, they forced you to do what I just did. They wouldn't just let me go where I wanted. Because they looked like there was something to the left, but apparently they wouldn't let me do it. Oh, man. Whose idea was it to build a totally vertical security building? <laughs> I gotta say, I don't feel so motivated to get back to work. It's usually right kind of like Mega Man, right? Probably like Mega Man for sure. Here we go. What do we got back here? Data pad. They wanted me to make a, a pan panopticon surveillance room, but it's way too creepy and too much work. We're getting complaints to trip up long is it left already i don't know they, none of those logs add anything to the game honestly i hate to say it, they just don't most of them for comic relief when they try to add supplemental story it doesn't seem to really do anything so all right we're definitely gonna need our buddy here we go cool. Can't see what's going on.
we have Leary. Uh. Are we almost there? How am I getting that password? We're still thinking? Think better? We're running out of time. Well, I don't see you contributing. Miss Peppermint, please don't confuse Mr. Chai by implying that he is the brain behind the mission. Exactly! Wait. Oh, Peppermint. Corsica's in her office, right? See if you can mirror her screen, and we can catch her using her password. Better than nothing. Try that. So, this has a fan, and remember, we can't do anything with these fans yet. It's just like they're optional things for later. So if we ever get a move, a move that, like, blows air or something, we do the fan. Alright, head pop. That's all it's in there. Oh, we're done with the stage soon. Not to say that I, you know, it's too long, but we've kind of been in this tower for a long time. other side but there's a door that we can't go to until those numbered doors which we need to figure out how to get into, into yet it seems like this game will have a replayability once you beat it you get all the, the abilities you go back and you go to all the areas you couldn't go to before and that's how you get a lot of stuff right like it seems like I'm not gonna be able to go through this door yep I can get this battery I don't need it but uh yeah see there's some items there we can't get because we can't open the door I guess a health item there. Oh, that was in the room with the statue. How would I be getting high enough to do that? I actually don't know. Am I gonna finish this? I mean, I don't see why not. Literally, but after today, we'll probably do it as uh as night streams. Yeah, look, it's how the hell do I get that high up? You know what it must be? The fan. I bet if you turn on the fan, maybe there's like air in the room that blows you up, and you can get higher up there. Oh, yeah? Gregory says, after you beat this particular boss, the game moves much faster paced after this. It's interesting that the game changes pace completely. Huh. So, we have 23,000. I could buy another life gauge. Um, again, there's no new chips. Do I want to buy another new combo at this point? Uh, directional parry. Air parry. Nah, just gonna buy more health. There you go, bought another health gauge. Jade loves it, I'm glad you love it, Jade. It is definitely different. It's got a different vibe to it with the music and the art style and the, and the dialogue and everything than other games that I've been playing, that's for sure. Aunt uh, Vandalay. Oh crap. Get up, Hit me, I appreciate that. I will uh, shout that out when I get a chance. It looks like we're engaged in a boss fight. Maybe 
not a boss fight. Goodbye. Zoop. Nice. Done? Yes. Way to blow it, Peppermint. Mr. Chai, we all make mistakes, especially you. <laughs> the mirroring worked, but only for a minute. But get this, Chai. She was looking at Spectra files. The stuff about mind control. She must have forced oh, her way in there. So she really wants to know the truth. Let me guess. They're going to recruit her. It sounds like they're going to recruit her to their cause, doesn't it? All right. We got a couple tips to shout out. That's why I wanted to pause here. Sorry to break the, the, the beat of the game. Um, So, I received a $20 tip from an anonymous tipper. It says, the game may not be your cup of tea, but at least you're giving it a shot. Thanks. Again, I didn't say it's not my cup of tea. I think it's all right. Again, I'm not in love with it. I think it's a neat game because it does play like older games that I've played before. And it's it's a throwback with modern graphics and a modern twist, obviously, with the music. Um, and I don't dislike it. I just think it's, it's again, it's it's decent. It's not something that I'm like, wow, I'm so having so much fun. I can't wait to play more and blah, blah, blah. It's more like, okay, it's in my rotation. It's good for variety. I'm enjoying myself, but it's not, okay, you know, crazy good. While some people are saying this game is like game of the year, and I'm like, what? Like, I just, it, that really baffles me. When you say a game like this, it, it's an homage game to older games, for sure. And how you say it's game of the year, I don't know. Um, I like it, though. Thank you for the $20 tip. And then I got another tip. Anonymous tipper to me, $2.30. So, a gaming journalist on Twitter says you should boycott Hogwarts Legacy. But if you have to cover it, the only ethical way is to be extremely critical of the game in reviews. And he criticized IGN for saying they're going to ignore J.K. Rowling politics in the review. Gaming journalism is a joke. These ideology-driven pricks need to go away. Yes, you don't need to have politics in your gaming journalism. It's true. It's called being objective. And they can't do it because most of their industry is leaning one way and they feel like they have to be in line with that. You know, there's not much you could do besides pick out those who you feel are going to be objective or in line with what you're looking for, right? So, anyway, yeah, I'm still playing Hogwarts tomorrow. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you guys for your support. We're so close to the hat goal, by the way. <clears throat> and we hit that $100 tips goal. You will vote for a silly hat for me to wear for the rest of today's Hi-Fi Rush stream. Boom. doop 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 And I said, I really hope we're near the end, because this has been a very repetitive tower. Hopefully we're near the end of it now. Okay, same thing as last Oh time. no. Alright, I'm putting a stop to this. Oh. <laughs> it continues. It continues. That's not bad. Let me know when you decide to give up. Great, fantastic. Can we get any more lasers? She's panicking. I'm panicking. We don't have a plan. Just give us a second. Anything else here? All right, this is where we go. Yeah, everything else. I grabbed the items. Okay. Hey! Ow! Ow again! Ow again! I'm just getting clobbered. We 
did our finisher. That was cool. Realize that I love games like this. It's not overly complicated. It's nostalgic 2000s gameplay. Yeah, exactly. Again, it's it's is it original? Well, it's original in the fact that we haven't seen a game like this in a long time. The graphics are really good, right, for what it is, and the the timing element is also quite nice. I've played games with timing elements before, but not necessarily a one to this extent. So. Is it a trailblazer? No, but it combines a lot of elements from older games that work and makes it feel kind of special in 2023, for sure. Uh, an uptick in defective data nodes. These are easily disrupted, and honestly, the gravity to finding physics leads me to believe they're mostly style over substance. Oh, God. <laughs> Again, those are completely worthless, it seems. Oh. Broken into their break room. That's all that's in here, huh? Alright. I don't want to beat them up. You can beat them up for stuff, but I don't feel like it's okay with that. Another fire door. I almost feel like we're going to get one more person, and maybe it's going to be, what's her name, the upcoming boss? And once you recruit her, maybe she's the one who puts out the fire. Right? Seems like it. I feel like that's what the game is leaning towards here in the plot. Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. I'm trying to figure out how to do the combo finishers. I do them sometimes, but not always. I think in that case, I didn't have the charge to do it. But it seems like you do the final hit of your combo with R2, and then your partner comes out and does that combo hit. It does like the way extra damage, it extends the combo, which is nice. I do like those, you get them. They are tricky to get though. All right, we got some optional stuff there. Here we go. That is not what I wanted. I did not switch. To all employees suffering from power outages, please wait. All employees. Power will not return until excessive laser usage is finished. Ah, graffiti. It's the robot we killed already. Cool. 7 of 24. Man, I missed a lot. Considering we're in, like, chapter 8 out of, like, 12. I missed a ton of those. <laughs> um, <clears throat> hold on. We've got, uh, another chip, it looks like. Hold on. A $2 chip. Someone says, if this game is in contention for Game of the Year, what a sad year for gaming this will be. My opinion, but I'm giving it a watch. Again, I, it's not that I don't like it. I actually do like the game. I wouldn't keep playing it if I didn't like it. But it certainly feels like an action platformer of yesteryear, and it doesn't feel like something that should be a Game of the Year contender, in my opinion. Um, but maybe maybe I'm too picky. I don't know. But I'm enjoying. I am enjoying the game overall. So thank you guys for chilling with me. Thanks for for supporting it. Uh, I really appreciate that. Although, admittedly, now I would say these stages are starting to get a little lengthy and repetitive. No, I mean, am I off base? Oh no, am I off base saying that? Like, look how long this stage has been today, where we're still trying to scale the tower and fight this woman. Like, how long will this last? Right? Yeah, 
Okay. And people are saying the pacing picks up after this, which is great, I guess. I thought I'd seen the secret under the platform, but I did not. I was mistaken. So, okay. Life of attack. It's like a miserable ex existence, huh? All right. Oh, back to the same move, but laser beam, laser beam. Literally, so what's the most frustrating game I played? Oh, dude, you're asking. You, I, when I've been 15 years on YouTube, and I've played games before that too, I don't think you can really ask me a question like that. I mean, ultimately, what's the game that's always beaten me? Ninja Guy. I've never beaten Ninja Guy one. And it's infamously one of the hardest games ever made. And that's why I kind of want to do it for my Retro Games Challenge when we get our members goal for this month. Because I would love to take on a game that's always been me in the past and try to say, hey, I, I'm going to get your goat this time, man. I'm finally going to do it. That will be like the ultimate challenge here because Kevin, you guys won legit. Next time you say go up, please include a note about distance. I was afraid of your famous shortcuts, so I kept it simple. Okay, we got a jump pad and an item over here. Oh, 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 oh! Looks like that's her office. What's up, Dark Galbach? Uh, having a good time today with the game for sure. Although I do feel like this stage is dragged on a little too long, so I'm hoping this is the end of it. Um, at this point. One final station to buy shit before the boss. Again, what's annoying, we haven't had, uh, since the beginning of today's stream, so we're talking almost two hours of gameplay now. We haven't been back at the base, so you complete those challenges where you're supposed to get bonuses, and I haven't gotten any bonuses because you've never been back to the base the whole time. So probably after this, I'm thinking after this boss fight, when you finish this stage, probably then you go back to the base. So, uh, at this point, I don't even think I'm going to buy anything, honestly, right? Unless maybe I buy a reverb gauge. What the hell? I'll buy a reverb gauge because I can afford it. There. More reverb. Will I play Dragon's Dogma 2 when it comes out? Maybe. I really like Dragon's Dogma 1. 
As, as repetitive of a game as it was, I was really entertained by it, so maybe I will. Auto save. All auto saves. And most modern games don't have manual save anymore. They removed that. All right. Finally. Sounds repetitive. You locked the doors, but I can still access these. Heard you like air ducts. Go get dirty. Another pad. This message is left for Corsica. Your order for lunch has been sent back because you were unable to contact being able to unattend our delivery person to send to your door. If you request another delivery, order again, but know that your inter-office staff order ranking is negatively affected by unresponsiveness. What? <laughs> okay. Last chance. What am I doing? So, you're gonna have to wing it and talk to her. Remember the last time I tried to talk it out? Didn't end well. Not that Nina is pragmatic. Provided you do not escalate. Talk to her calmly, state the facts. My specialty. And if things escalate, then bring her back here somehow. But please be nice about it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, finally the boss. Took three stages to get to it. Oh man, she's right there. On her computer. And she's still looking at Spectra files. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. She wants to know more. She listen to us. I'm like a chameleon. Mr. Chai, are you listening? Waiting to strike. Now this is important. All you need is to subtly. No. Hmm? Nice and subtle. What the? This isn't what I look like. This isn't what it looks like. Enough! Great. <laughs>
does it look like? Uh, that I just want to talk? I think all my defenses did my talking for me. All I heard was a lot of meh. Mr. Jai, do not escape. <laughs> You're such an idiot. Oh, this is bad. I take pride in my work. You're not slipping away this time. Ah. Uh... She wants to kill me. <laughs> Try to talk her down. We saw you spying those spectra files, so you know I wasn't lying. Assessing the problem is my job. I don't need you to tell me. Well, apparently I do, since you aren't getting it. Don't belittle me. Chai, don't attack her. Protect yourself. <laughs> you go. Just chill, Corsica. You broke into my office. You destroyed my security. To peacefully resolve this. Wow. Do you even listen to what you say? So, let's put down the sticks. Not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Chai, you're a genius. Whoa, now. Let's calm down there. Stop chatting. Put your guitar where your mouth is. Oh, beautiful. You think you can strong arm me? Hey, you chose to fight. Wait, you like puns too? <laughs> No, whatever. Let's see how you handle this. Now she has a bow staff. What the? Caught you off guard. Okay, scratch parrying everything. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. Plus, she's totally lying about hating puns. Just get out of the way, but don't give up. All right, in a face-off, some attacks cannot be parried and must be dodged. Look for the symbol of bumps and win the dodge by pressing right bumper at the moment the unparryable attack strikes. Mix and match your dodge and parry. Okay. I felt a breeze just now. Was that you? I'll make sure you stay down this time. Perfect. I could rock this beat all day. You look like you're sweating. Impressive. Mr. Jai really is good at aggravating others. This was known, Cinnamon. <laughs> How about this? Damn. Guy hit. It's only a matter of time. The stagger got me. Again, this, it's a stagger attack, and I mistime it. Little guy. There we go. We're doing great. Is that a floating cat? Nothing about you even makes sense. Yeah. Admit it. You're enjoying this. You cocky <laughs> loser. Loot. I worked hard for this job. I won't just give it up. What are you doing this for? Kale? What does it matter? He doesn't care about you. Otherwise, he wouldn't have kept you in the dark. You don't know that. I know mm -hmm. you're not like the others, Corsica. You can feel something's wrong. Chai, you are surprisingly 
surprisingly convincing. <laughs> De-escalating. Well, I think we may have a chance. Or are you just too oblivious to figure that out? Oh, come on. No. That's it. Now I'm mad. In your own words, you really blew it, Mr. John. <laughs> Wait. What does oblivious mean? Enough distractions. Fights all our hair, Chai. Yeah. Uh, keep it up, little guy. It's getting late. I'm supposed to be back at the hideout by dinner time. could catch s rank very nice escape plan now cinnamon give me the building schematics right here joy a private elevator <laughs> smasher oh her head is the freaking door frame ow Oh my god, stop uh, doing that. Lift. You asshole. I'll reroute it to the hideout. Yeah, <laughs> he's being super gentle. Look. <laughs> oh my god. Well, she probably gets a concussion. Now we're <sighs> dead. Brain scramble. Idiot. Wow. See? Everything works out in the end. Yeah. You were right about Spectra, but I'll handle it my own way. We don't have to fight. You can help us. Oh, Corsica. You're just not good at your job. Oh. Hell? Bypassing my security to access secret Spectra files. Big no no. Why would you hide the truth from me? I need people trusting my vision. You failed that test. What? I won't let you build an army of mindless Vandalay soldiers. But what, what are you talking about? That's not my plan. <sighs> Just drop it, Kale. We're coming after you. Actually, it's funny because, see, I'm coming after you. Literally. <laughs> oh, God. It's still not over. We still don't get to go to the base and relax. We got another stage coming up. Oh my god. You never understand the potential of Spectra. What in the hell? What's the end game? I'm securing our future, please. Even you can figure that out. By controlling the consumers. It's not control, I'm freeing them. Oh my god. That's not how I see it. I don't need to explain myself to a defect. All you do is hit things with a guitar. But I'm really good at it. Oh, I'm over this. You're not getting in my way any longer, kid. Forget the password, Chai. Get out of there. What? No! Not after all this! Oh, and for you, Corsica, you're fired. Corsica, watch out! Again, another broken platform. Fire. Oh, no. Oh, should have used the flamethrower. Better right, well, this always next time. All right. And another achievement the negotiator removed the head of security from the equation. Interesting. Apparently, I got zero S ranks at the end there. <laughs> nice. 
All right, I have a couple shout outs to do. First of all, I received an $8 tip from an anonymous tipper saying, let's get the hat on. All right, so thank you to the $8 tipper. Even though you did not ask for an eight ball animation question, I will play the eight ball anyway, because it is exactly $8 for variety purposes. So thank you for that. And yes, we did hit $100 in tips now. Uh, actually, we had 104, so you guys will get to vote on a hat for me to wear for the rest of today's stream, which is roughly about an hour or so, a little less maybe. Um, and Crasco did a super sticker. Thank you to Crasco for your super sticker. Appreciate that. All right, so let's do a poll for a hat, and we will go from there. Cool. Cool. 